Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently pretty dark outside, so I have the light on my phone on. Now, this is a special 100k video subscriber, um, well, views, video views. So, um, yeah, I'll just make this short and sweet. This is just going to be a overlook of uh, my gaming equipment. So, you can see here I have an ASUS. You can see down the bottom here I have an ASUS. Uh, monitor it is at two millisecond response time it shows you here what type of model so when it focuses focus 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 it's the VE247-4 uh, so that is the actual model of my uh, of my monitor so that's this one here Okay, moving on from the screen, I will go straight down to the Razer Deathstalker Ultimate with the uh, UI screen here, you can see that. And while we're on Razer, go across to the Razer Naga 2014 edition, so you can see there with the keys on the side, scroll button, two forward and back buttons, and yeah, and to introduce its partner, it has the Razer Goliathus, so I'll move my keyboard out of the way there, and you can see Razer Goliathus there. That is a speed edition, so a lot more fast movements. I don't really like controlled because I play more first person shooter. So, moving to the left, we have my Astro A40 mix amp, and then the headset to go with that. Is just down here, which I will pull out for you now, and that's here. So you can see that there with my custom custom plate. So I'm a bit of a Doctor Who fan, so you can see a, a TARDIS there, and then my um, custom name print that I put on it. That's on both sides. One obviously has the microphone until I actually get a desktop. So. These are ultimately my favorite headset. I'll just run you through what I've used in the past. I've used uh, Turtle Beaches, PX21s, um, gone through two pair of them until I got to my third pair and I just said, quit, no more uh, Turtle Beach. And then I went to Razer and after a little bit they broke down. So then I moved on from Razer to Astros. So you can see there, Astro mix amp. I'm using the optical cable that goes into the back of my computer, so does the uh, USB power. So I will shall move on and I'll move the headset out of the way and I will get down to my case. So this is the A31. It's a uh, it's like a mini full tower. It's a larger mid, larger mid sized tower. You can see I've got some custom stickers on the side there. All the cables that run up there and then my two Xbox cables. The Xbox is in here so that's not the Xbox One that is an Xbox 360 but it's the new edition so it kind of looks like an Xbox One a bit with the the side venting there and stuff and two wireless controllers so I can use them both for Xbox and PC if I feel like playing PC. Now moving on from that I will pull out the back of the PC here. So this one, it's a thermal take uh, A31, as I said, Snow White edition. And I will just quickly show you the back. So here is the back. You can see starting from the top up here, I'll just move this cable. Starting from the top, we have two USBs. And those are the one on the left is the Razer Naga. And that is. Uh, the one on the right, sorry, is the Razer Naga, one on the left is Astros. And moving down, that is Optical. Then we have the Razer Deathstalker. Going down, we have my wireless LAN uh, adapters. And then that is my Xbox um, capture card in part. And then down a bit further, we have uh, the graphics card, graphics card part. So you can see there, that's the HDMI in. And then power obviously down there so moving on from that I shall show you this the side real quick so you can kind of see in it's probably a bit dusty in there but that's all right you can see 
there I have my Corsair water cooler. Um, see the wireless card down the bottom left. Um, you can see some ASUS motherboard, uh, Gigabyte graphics card. See down here it's 700 light power thermal take. Uh, I've got uh, G skill RAM up there that is not the Rip Jaws but the Ares. And then on the left there, um, the far to the back on the right, there is my first hard drive. Uh, sorry, that's down here. That is my SATA CD ROM drive. And then right down the bottom, which you can't really see, is my solid state. So, yeah, it's all pretty nice and neat. Um, now, the cool part about this case is that the top top can actually come right off so I have um, access to my fan right above and then you can see right there that that is my um, fan cooling the water cooling so there's the actual vent the um, the radiator so yeah okay so that's that's all closed and yeah so that, that's basically my gaming area setup. There's not really anything else that I need to go over, but yeah. So, thank you for the um, 100,000 views on my channel, um, most which are accumulated from the Black Ops How to Change Your Nap type. But more videos are coming soon. I've currently um, just been partnered with Freedom. Um, if you'd like to be partnered, just send me a message and I will um, refer you to them and yeah it's a great way to uh, get your videos out there you know stuff like that but yeah I will um, leave a link in the description of my specs or you can kind of see on the sidebars here but yeah you can see there there's an i7-3770 at 3.4 gigahertz you can see here it's a GeForce GTX 660 Ti, which will change very soon. I am getting the 780 Ti, uh, Twin Frozer Edition. And then you can see my two hard drives down there. Uh, I've got 16 gig RAM, um, and that's really about it for the specs on the inside. But anyway, guys, um, you will be seeing a lot more videos from me now. Um, but yeah, make sure you stay tuned and... Uh, if you're new watching this, subscribe, please, it'll help out a lot. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like the video either. Uh, liking the video, you know, gets it out there more. And same with just sharing it. So, and also in the link below there will be my Twitter. So you can keep up to date with my Twitter as well. So yeah guys, this is Mesmer and I will catch you next time.